Hi guys, welcome to Saving Money Show, me your host Sean. If you find any of today's entertainment helpful, don't forget to smash the lovely like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm, getting the video out to more people. If you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and bell notification. You'll be notified when a new video gets uploaded. If you're looking for a free trading platform which to trade your stocks and shares, don't forget to check out the links in the description below. You'll get a free share worth up to £200 for signing up and depositing a small amount. Free trade only requires £1 deposit to qualify. The others require £100 or dollars, depending on which one you go for. So why wouldn't you? Now, on with the show. And we're talking farmer stocks. What's the <laughs> Anyway, uh, as I'm sure you've heard, Pfizer have had very positive results regarding their vaccine. And Gilead, as I said in a previous video, set their price point for Remdesivir. Now, because they were reducing the price for people overseas compared to the US, uh, now got to remember, US has it's lots of insurance, medical insurance involved. So where that's involved, the price goes up. And the insurers are willing to pay it because, if, it, as I said before, if it prevents three days in hospital when it's $10,000 a day, it's a bargain. I also said how I think once they get sold out, this will be an introductory price. Once they get sold out, they will start charging more. Because they will say to these countries, well, we can get it here faster, but it will cost more. And, oh, well, whenever we've charged you more in the past, you've had us before a committee for overcharging. And unless they get like some piece of paper saying they can't go before a congressional co committee. That is what will happen. Now, that's just my opinion. But, you see with Gilead. I wonder what that's for. Maybe it's because the US government has bought up their entire stock. And only 5% of their stock is abroad due to the fact that it was manufactured abroad and being tested abroad said all along that all this the free samples isn't free Gilead was giving them and this is incredibly smart do you know how much it costs to run a trial on this level how many millions of dollars they were, they had a lot of phases to go through. If this virus wasn't around, they had a lot of phases to go through. Instead, they got Dr. Fauci to say, positive results, we're going to expedite the next phase. Okay. Then what happens? They go to him and say, thank you very much. Here's your stocks. Here's your... Back and then he recommends he negotiates a deal so that they can give free samples as long as they get the data. Such a genius move. If all this virus wasn't going on, they would be paying people two thousand to five thousand dollars each to be taking part in a study like this and instead they're getting them lining up queuing up to apply for it and they're not paying them anything and then they're coming off as good PR when it comes to the tax time they can say well, 10,000 doses at $3,250 a stream. We'll claim that back. 
and it saves them so much money. And people don't seem to be twigging it. They don't seem to be talking about it. They're just saying, oh, how, is, how good they are. Why do you think it was a set amount of doses? Moderna? They're manufacturing it before they've tested it on anyone. Why? They're selling it before they've tested on anyone. Why? Because it doesn't matter whether it works or not. They're going to still churn it out. That's the way. Now, I said a long while ago when people were saying, oh, well, you're going into Gilead and, you know, the crooks. I said their intrinsic value is 73 to $76 without remdesivir. Now, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Mind you, you probably better that view than my face anyway. Anyway, on with the show. The thing is, they said that but they're crooks, they're doing this, they're doing that. I said, yes, but this is what the intrinsic value is. So as long as you buy it below the intrinsic value, you're getting, if nothing comes of it, you're getting a good deal. And that's what I've done when the price went down. That's why now, when it's, you're starting to get it shooting up, you're going to start making money. Uh, I think the problem with people in this market is they're getting too emotional, emotionally attached to shares. And if you want to do that, that's fine. If you're a long term investor and you've, I mean, some stocks, you will either have 5x your money. Or if you've held them long enough, you would have turned 1,000 into 120,000. So I understand being emotionally invested in a share like that. But you've already made your money on those shares. So For me, it's about fine. They're not about buying into Amazon, Google, Facebook, Apple. Don't get me wrong, if they drop, I will. But it's about finding the next Amazon, the next Google, the next Apple, the next Facebook. Anyway. And the same with the farmer stocks. And I've got a few ideas on the horizon, but I need to do my research before going there. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to comment box below if you have Gilead, you're looking into buying it, or you have Pfizer. I'll see you in the next video.